All right, so we've talked about line and shape. Now we're going to talk about color. So go ahead and add a new artboard and put a title on it and the line. Also remember to add your guides so that everything is placed correctly and it doesn't go too far off of the page. One thing to note about artboards and rulers is that whichever artboard you have clicked on, the ruler responds to that artboard. So if I click here, then the rulers would change so that zero will orient to the corner of this artboard. To start out, we're going to work with our primaries. So go ahead and make shapes for the three primary colors. You may choose whichever shape that you would like to to start out with. I'm going to start with the polygon tool. This one's going to be kind of a large shape. The primaries will be your largest shapes. To make it the same size, you can copy paste this shape. Command C to copy it. Command V to paste it. And again, I'm orienting these in a triangle. These will be my primary colors. Let's go ahead and start with the yellow color. If you look up here, this is where your swatches are. And we're going to do the CMYK yellow. And if I were to click right here, you can see that you have to have it selected. There it is. You can see that the pure yellow color is all the way in the corner up here. So as we change colors, I'm going to have you slide this slider. All that you're doing here is changing the hue. So when I change this, say to my blue, it's not changing the value or the intensity. Because remember, hue is just the name of the color. So you're changing the color. If I were to change the darkness, it would become um, a darker value or a lighter value. Okay, so I've got yellow. Let's go ahead and move on to the blue. And go ahead and make it as bright as you can up here. And then my red as well. Red is the same on either spectrum. So you can go all the way up on this side, or you can go all the way down on the other side. Okay. Next, we're going to do your secondary colors. You can choose to do the same shape, or you can choose a different shape. I'm going to go ahead and do the star tool. This time, make it slightly smaller. And I'm not going to do quite so many little points. We'll do, we'll do seven points. There we go. Anyway, slightly smaller than the previous shape and directly in between the others. Again, I'm going to copy and paste those in there. And as you're working through these, make sure you know where you're at. So I'm in between the red and the yellow. I'm going to create an orange. Keeping it up in that corner, I'm just going to slide this to change the hue. When I get to yellow, I'm going to go right in between the yellow and the red. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do the violet in between the blue and the red. Looking for kind of a K-State purple, for those of you who are Kansas State fans. And then we're going to go for the green. On this one, the pure green is a little bit bright, so it suggested that you move it a little bit far in, and I would go ahead and leave that. There you go. Lastly, you've got the intermediate colors. And again, you can change this if you want to, change your color, or change your shape, rather, or you can keep it the same. I'm going to 
just change the number of points I've got. I'll make it a regular star. And again, this one should be slightly smaller than your secondary colors. Copy paste them and place them in between each of your shapes. Same thing, slide your slider in a little bit. Sometimes the program's going to adjust it to the color that it thinks it needs to be um, so that you can see it. Some of these colors are too brilliant to see and I'm not gonna go into the mechanics of that. Just know that it happens. Go ahead and adjust colors if you don't get quite the right color that you're looking for. When you're finished, adjust things as need to be as you're looking. See if any spacing needs to kind of be readjusted and fix that up. 